What fraction of an iceberg shows above water? Only one seventh to one tenth of an iceberg's mass shows above water. What is the purpose of a trade secret? A trade secret is information a company chooses to protect from its competitors. Perhaps the most famous trade secret is the formula for Coca-Cola. Who discovered cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR? As a method to resuscitate an individual whose heart had stopped? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, is a first aid technique that combines mouth to mouth. Resuscitation and rhythmic compression of the chest to a person whose heart has stopped. The Scottish surgeon William Tossach, c. 1700 after 1771, first performed mouth to mouth resuscitation in 1732. The technique was not further developed, or widely used for many centuries until Dr. Edward Schaefer, 1850-1935, developed a method of chest pressure to stimulate respiration. In 1910 the American Red Cross adopted and began to teach Schaefer's method. A team of specialists at Johns Hopkins Medical School, Orth L.O.R. Langworthy, 1897 to 1996 R.D. Hooker and William B. Cowenhoven 1886 to 1975 attempted to improve on the technique Cowenhoven realized that chest compression could maintain blood flow in a person whose heart had stopped in 1958 Cowenhoven's method of chest compression was used on a two-year-old child whose heart had stopped. The American Red Cross endorsed the technique in 1963. How are the teeth and tongue involved in chewing? The first stage of mechanical digestion is mastication, or chewing. Initially, the teeth tear and shred large pieces of food into smaller units. The muscles of the tongue, cheeks, and lips help keep the food on the surfaces of the teeth. The tongue then compacts the food into a small round mass of material called the bolus. The salivary glands help lubricate the food with secretions. Does the United States currently produce enough energy to meet its consumption needs? No. From 1958 forward, the United States has consumed more energy than it has produced. And the difference has been met by energy imports. In 2008, 73.71 quadrillion BTUs was the total United States energy production. In that same year 99.30 quadrillion BTUs were consumed.
How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the rhizylin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches. 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 inches, 18.4 centimeters, in height. How are colored fireworks made? Fireworks existed in ancient China in the 9th century where saltpeter, potassium nitrate, sulfur and charcoal were mixed to produce the dazzling effects. Magnesium burns with a brilliant white light and is widely used in making flares and fireworks. Various other colors can be produced by adding certain substances to the flame. Strontium compounds color the flame scarlet, barium compounds produce yellowish green. Copper produces a blue green, lithium creates purple, and sodium results in yellow. Iron and aluminum granules give gold and white sparks, respectively. What are Napier's bones? In the 16th century, the Scottish mathematician John Napier, 1550-1617, Baron of Merchiston, developed a method of simplifying the processes of multiplication and division. Using exponents of 10, which Napier called logarithms, commonly abbreviated as logs. Using this system, multiplication is reduced to addition and division to subtraction. For example, the log of 100, 102, is 2, the log of 1000, 103, is 3, the Multiplication of 100 by 1000, 100 x 1000 equals 100,000, can be accomplished by adding their logs. Log, 100, 1000, equals log, 100, plus log, 1000, equals 2 plus 3 equals 5 equals log, 100,000. Napier published his methodology in a description of the admirable table of logarithms. In 1614. In 1617 he published a method of using a device, made up of a series of rods in a frame. Marked with the digits 1 through 9, to multiply and divide using the principles. Of logarithms. This device was commonly called Napier's bones or Napier's rods. How acidic is acid rain?
Acidity or alkalinity is measured by a scale known as the pH, potential for hydrogen, scale. It runs from 0 to 14. Since it is logarithmic. A change in one unit equals a tenfold increase or decrease. So a solution at pH 2 is 10 times more acidic than one at pH 3 and 100 times as acidic. As a solution at pH 4, 0 is extremely acid, 7 is neutral, and 14 is very alkaline. Any rain below 5.0 is considered acid rain, some scientists use the value of 5.6 or less. Normal rain and snow containing dissolved carbon dioxide, a weak acid. Measure about pH 5.6. Actual values vary according to geographical area. Eastern Europe and parts of Scandinavia have an average rain pH of 4.3 to 4.5, the rest of Europe is 4.5 to 5.1, Eastern United States and Canada ranges from 4.2 to 4.6, and Mississippi Valley has a range of 4.6 to 4.8. The worst North American area, having 4.2, is centered around Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. What is a variable? A variable is something that is changed or altered in an experiment. For example, to determine the effect of light on plant growth, growing one plant in a sunny window and one in a dark closet will provide evidence as to the effect of light on plant growth. The variable is light. Which blood type is the universal donor and which is the universal recipient? Persons with blood type O are universal donors. They are able to donate blood to anyone. Persons with blood type of and are universal recipients. They are able to receive blood from any donor. What causes a stomach ulcer? For decades, doctors thought that genetics or anxiety or even spicy foods caused stomach ulcers. Scientists now believe that stress and spicy foods only worsen the pain of an ulcer. The gastric ulcer itself is caused by a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori. Researcher Barry Marshall 1951, of Australia observed that many ulcer patients had these bacteria present in their systems. In 1984, he designed an experiment to determine whether there was a link between Helicobacter pylori and stomach ulcers. He consumed a large amount of the bacteria. He developed ulcers 10 days later. Ulcers are now treated with antibiotics. Marshall shared the 2005 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with J. Robin Warren, 1937, for their discovery of the bacterium. Helicobacter pylori and its role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease.
How thick is skin? The thickness of skin varies, depending on where it is found on the body. Skin averages 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in thickness. The thinnest skin is found in the eyelids and is less than 0.002 inches, 0.005 centimeters. Thick while the thickest skin is on the upper back, 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters. What is the tallest mountain? Mauna Kea an inactive volcano on the island of Hawaii, measures 33,474 feet. 10,203 meters, from its base to the top. However, it only rises 13,796 feet, 4,205 meters, above sea level since its base is on the ocean floor. What was the first group of vertebrates? The first vertebrates were fishes that appeared 500 million years ago. They were agnathans, from the Greek terms a, meaning without, and nath, meaning jaw, small. Jawless fishes up to about 8 inches, 20 centimeters, long and also known as ostracoderms, shell skin. Because their bodies were covered with bony plates, most notably a head shield protecting the brain. What are the largest Kuiper belt objects and how big are they? The following table lists the largest KBOs in our solar system that are known of today. What is Moore's Law? Gordon Moore, 1929, co-founder of Intel, are, a top microchip manufacturer. Observed in 1965 that the number of transistors per microchip and hence a chip's processing power would double about every year and a half. The press dubbed this Moore's Law. Despite claims that this ever-increasing trend cannot perpetuate. History has shown that microchip advances are, indeed, keeping pace with Moore's prediction. What are the three types of muscle tissue? There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. One smooth muscle, 2, skeletal muscle, and 3, cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. What is the ecological footprint?
the ecological footprint is a measurement of how fast humans consume resources and generate waste compared to how fast nature can absorb the waste and generate new resources. Since the late 1970s, humanity has been in ecological overshoot, i.e. The annual demands on nature exceed what the Earth can generate in a year. It currently takes the Earth one year and five months to regenerate what is used in one year. Mathis Wackernagel, 1962, and William Rees, 1943 developed the concept of the ecological footprint in 1990. What was the Tunguska event? In June 30, 1908, a violent explosion occurred in the atmosphere over the Podkamenayatunguska River in a remote part of central Siberia. The blast's consequences were similar to a hydrogen bomb going off, leveling thousands of square miles of forest. The shock of the explosion was heard more than 600 miles, 960 kilometers, away. A number of theories have been proposed to account for this event. Some people thought that a large meteorite or a piece of antimatter had fallen to Earth. But a meteorite, composed of rock and metal, would have created a crater and none was found at the impact site. There are no high radiation levels in the area that would have resulted from the collision of antimatter and matter. Two other theories include a mini black hole striking Earth or the crash of an extraterrestrial spaceship. However, a mini black hole would have passed through Earth and there is no record of a corresponding explosion on the other side of the world. As for the spaceship, no wreckage of such a craft was ever found. The most likely cause of the explosion was the entry into the atmosphere of a piece of a comet, which would have produced a large fireball and blast wave. Since a comet is composed primarily of ice, the fragment would have melted during its passage through Earth's atmosphere, leaving no impact crater and no debris. Since the Tunguska event coincided with Earth's passage through the orbit of Comet Inc., the explosion could have been caused by a piece of that comet. Who made the first organic compound to be synthesized from inorganic ingredients? In 1828, Friedrich Wohler, 1800-1882, synthesized urea from ammonia and cyanic acid. This synthesis dealt a death blow to the vital force theory, which held that definite and fundamental differences existed between organic and inorganic compounds. The Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius, 1779 to 1848 had proposed that the two classes of compounds were produced from their elements by entirely different laws. Organic compounds were produced under the influence of a vital force and so were incapable of being prepared artificially. This distinction ended with Wohler's synthesis.
How long does it take for a discarded aluminum beverage? Can to be recycled and returned as a new beverage can? A recycled aluminum beverage can return to the shelf as a new beverage can in as little as 60 days. What is Indian summer? The term Indian summer dates back to at least 1778. The term may relate to the way the native Americans availed themselves of the nice weather to increase their winter food supplies. It refers to a period of pleasant, dry, warm days in the middle to late autumn, usually after the first killing frost. What is a computer virus and how is it spread? Taken from the obvious analogy with biological viruses. A computer virus is a name for a type of computer program that searches out uninfected computers. Infects them by causing them to execute the virus, and then attempts to spread to other computers. A virus does two things, execute code on a computer, and spread to other computers. The executed code can accomplish anything that a regular computer program can do. It can delete files, send emails, install programs, and can copy information from one place to another. These actions can happen immediately or after some set delay. It is often not noticed that a virus has infected a computer. Because it will mimic the actual actions of the infected computer. By the time it is recognized that the computer is infected, much damage may have occurred. Earliest computer viruses spread via physical media such as floppy disks. Modern viruses propagate rapidly throughout the Internet. In May 2000, the Ilove virus made international headlines as it spread around the world in a single day. Crashing millions of computers and costing approximately $5 billion in economic damages. Since then, Criminals have learned to prevent their viruses from crashing computers. Making detection of these viruses much more difficult. The highly advanced CONF worm, first detected in 2008, operates silently. Ensuring that the typical computer user won't realize that the virus is present. What are synthetic fuels? Synthetic fuels, commonly called synfuels, are gaseous and liquid fuels produced synthetically from coal and oil shale. Basically, coal is converted to gaseous or liquid forms in coal based synfuels. These are easier to transport and burn more cleanly than coal itself. Synthetic natural gas is also produced from coal. Disadvantages of these processes are that they require a large amount of water and the new fuels have 30 to 40 percent less fuel content than pure coal. 
Synfuels from oil shale are produced by extracting the oils from the rocky base. Gasoline and kerosene can be produced from oil shale. Synfuel may also be obtained from biomass from human and animal waste. The waste is converted to methane by the action of anaerobic bacteria in a digester. What is 24 karat gold? The term carat refers to the percentage of gold versus the percentage of an alloy in a piece of jewelry or a decorative object. Gold is too soft to be usable in its purest form and has to be mixed with other metals. One carat is equal to one twenty-fourth part fine gold. Thus, 24 karat gold is 100% pure and 18 karat gold is 18 24ths or 75% pure. How long has the abacus been used? The abacus grew out of early counting boards. With hollows in a board holding pebbles or beads used to calculate. It has been documented in Mesopotamia back to around 3500 BCE. The current form. With beads sliding on rods, dates back at least to 15th century China. Before the use of decimal number systems, which allowed the familiar paper and pencil methods of calculation. The abacus was essential for almost all multiplication and division. Unlike the modern calculator, the abacus does not perform any mathematical computations. The person using the abacus performs calculations in his slash her head relying on the abacus as a physical. A to keep track of the sums. It has become a valuable tool for teaching arithmetic to blind students. How much energy does a typical nuclear power plant generate? In 2008, the average nuclear power plant generated about 12.4 billion kilowatt hours, kilowatt hour. The smallest nuclear plant has a single reactor with 476 MW of generation. Capacity and the largest has three reactors with a total of 3825 MW of capacity. Who was the first space tourist? The first space tourist was Dennis Tito, an American businessman who paid an estimated $20 million to travel to space with a Russian crew to spend time on the International Space Station. He departed aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft on April 28, 2001 and returned to Earth on May 6, 2001. What is the route the fluid travels in the body? Blood flows from the arteries to the capillaries, 
with a portion leaking into the interstitial spaces. Once the fluid leaves the interstitial spaces and enters the lymphatic capillaries, it is called lymph. It flows from the lymphatic capillaries through the lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes to the lymphatic ducts. Eventually entering either the right lymphatic duct or the thoracic duct. It finally drains into the subclavian veins and is returned to the blood. Does the use of plastic products present a health risk? The chemical bisphenol A, also called BPA, has been used to make lightweight. Hard plastics and epoxy resins since the 1960s. BPA may be found in many food and beverage packaging including baby bottles, infant feeding cups, water bottles, plastic dinnerware, toys, and other products. The epoxy resins are used in the inside lining of metal food cans, bottle tops, floorings, paints, and water supply pipes. In general, Plastic products made with BPA will have a number 7 recycling symbol on them or contain the letters PC near the recycling symbol. Although many studies have shown BPA to be safe, some recent studies have reported subtle effects of low doses of BPA in laboratory animals. It has not been proven that BPA is harmful to adults or children. But certain precautions have been recommended while research continues. These precautions include not using scratched baby bottles and infant feeding cups and not using BPA containers to heat food. Do bacteria all have the same shape? Bacteria have three main shapes spherical, rod shaped, and spiral. Spherical bacteria, known as cocci, occur singularly in some species and as groups in other species. Cocci have the ability to stick together and form a pair, diplococci, when they stick together in long chains. They are called streptococci. Irregularly shaped clumps or clusters of bacteria are called staphylococci. Rod-shaped bacteria, called bacilli, occur as single rods or as long chains of rods. Spiral or helical shaped bacteria are called spirilla. How large is the Antarctic ozone hole? The term hole is widely used in popular media when reporting on ozone. However, the concept is more correctly described as a low concentration of ozone that occurs in August-October, springtime in the Southern Hemisphere. It was not observed until 1979. The first scientific article on ozone depletion in the Antarctic was published in Nature in 1985. The largest ozone hole ever observed, 11.4 million square miles. 29.6 million square kilometers, occurred on September 24, 2006. The Daily 
maximum ozone hole area for 2009 was 9.3 million square miles, 24 million square kilometers. Who was the first woman physician in the United States? Elizabeth Blackwell, 1821-1910, received her degree in 1849 from Geneva Medical College in New York. After overcoming many obstacles, she set up a small practice that expanded into the New York Infirmary for Women and Children, which featured an all-female staff. What is the origin of the term hurricane? The term hurricane is derived from hurricane. The Carib god of evil, which was derived from the Mayan god Hurrican. Hurrican was one of the Mayan creator gods. Who blew his breath across the chaotic water and brought forth dry land. What are Venn diagrams? Venn diagrams are graphical representations of set theory, which use circles to show the logical relationships of the elements of different sets, using the logical operators. Also called in computer parlance Boolean operators, and, or, and not. John Ventoux, 1834 to 1923, first used them in his 1881 Symbolic Logic, in which he interpreted and corrected the work of George Boole, 1815-1864, and Augustus de Morgan, 1806-1871. While his attempts to clarify perceived inconsistencies and ambiguities in Boole's work are not widely accepted, the new method of diagramming is considered to be an improvement. Venn used shading to better illustrate inclusion and exclusion. Charles Dodgson, 1832-1898, better known by his pseudonym Lewis Carroll. Refined Venn system, in particular by enclosing the diagram to represent the universal set. How do we determine when ancient volcanic eruptions occurred? The most common method used to date ancient volcanic eruptions is carbon dating. Carbon dating relies on the rate of radioactive decay of carbon-14. is used to date eruptions that took place more than 200 years ago. Charcoal from trees burned during a volcanic eruption is almost pure carbon and is ideal for tracing the tiny amounts of carbon-14 spots in Earth's crust. The magma erupts forth and lava flows or shoots into the air as clouds of lava fragments, ash and dust. The accumulation of debris from eruptions caused the volcano to grow in size. There are four kinds of volcanoes, cinder cones are built of lava fragments. They have slopes of 30 degrees to 40 degrees and seldom exceed 1,640 feet, 500 meters, in height. 
Sunset Crater in Arizona and Paracutan in Mexico are examples of cinder cones. Composite cones are made of alternating layers of lava and ash. They are characterized by slopes of up to 30 degrees at the summit. Tapering off to 5 degrees at the base. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in Washington are composite cone volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are built primarily of lava flows. Their slopes are seldom more than 10 degrees at the summit and 2 degrees at the base. The Hawaiian Islands are clusters of shield volcanoes. Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano, rising 13,653 feet 4,161 meters) above sea level. Lava domes are made of viscous, pasty lava squeezed like toothpaste from a tube. Examples of lava domes are Lassen Peak and Mono Dome in California. Why is static electricity greater in winter than summer? Static electricity results from an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. Most of the time the positive and negative charges in an object are balanced. Meaning the object is neutral it is neither positively nor negatively charged. When the charges build up on an object, they must find a way to be released. Or transferred to restore the balance between negative and positive charges. During the winter, the air has very little water vapor in it and is dry. In the summer, the air contains more water vapor, the humidity is greater. Water is an electrical conductor allowing electrons to move from one object to another more easily. The humidity in the summer air allows extra electrons on charged objects to leak off into the air and attach to objects that have too few electrons. The dry air in the winter makes it more difficult for the extra electrons to leak off six an object so static electricity. With its characteristic shock or spark, is more common. When was the first time two women shared the Nobel Prize in the same field? It was not until 2009 that two women shared the Nobel Prize in the same field. Carol W. Greider, 1961, and Elizabeth H. Blackburn, 1948, shared the prize in physiology or medicine, along with Jack W. Sostak, 1952, for their discovery of how chromosomes are protected by telomeres and the enzyme telomerase. What is the composition of Earth's atmosphere? Earth's atmosphere, apart from water vapor and pollutants, is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and less than 1% each of argon and carbon dioxide. There are also traces of hydrogen, neon, helium, krypton, xenon, methane, and ozone. Earth's original atmosphere was probably composed of ammonia and methane. 
20 million years ago the air started to contain a broader variety of elements. The atmosphere weighs approximately 5 million billion tons. It exerts an average of 14.7 pounds per square inch, psi, of pressure on the surface of the planet. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles, 64 kilometers, per hour in 2 seconds. It has been timed at speeds of 70 miles, 112 kilometers, per hour over short distances. In most chases, cheetahs average around 40 miles, 63 kilometers, per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles, 45 kilometers, per hour maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of one quarter mile, 0.4 kilometer. Which symbol is used to represent medicine? The staff of Aesculapius has represented medicine since 800 B. C. It is a single serpent wound around a staff. The Caduceus, the twin serpent magic wand of the god Hermes or Mercury. Came into use after 1800 and is commonly used today. The serpent has traditionally been a symbol of healing. And it is an old belief that eating part of a serpent would bring the power of healing to the ingester. Early Greeks saw in the serpent regenerative powers expressed by the serpent's periodic sloughing of its skin, and venerated the serpent. Later, the Greek god of medicine, Asclepius, called Aesculapius by the Romans performed his functions in the form of a serpent. Sometimes this god is represented in art as an old man with a staff, around which is coiled a serpent. What are the major features shown by all vertebrates? Animals in the subphylum vertebrata are distinguished from other chordates by several features. Most prominent is the endoskeleton of bone or cartilage. Centering around the vertebral column, spine or backbone. Composed of separate vertebrae, showing internal metamerism. A vertebral column combines flexibility with enough strength to support even a large body. Other vertebrate features include, 1, complex dorsal kidneys, 2, a tail, lost via evolution in some groups. Extending by the anus, 3, a closed circulatory systems with a single, well-developed heart. Four a brain at the anterior end of the spinal cord, with 10 or more pairs of cranial nerves. 5. A cranium, skull, protecting the brain. 6. Paired sex organs in both males and females. And 7. Two pairs of movable appendages fins in the fishes, which evolved into legs in land vertebrates.
How fast does a hummingbird fly and how far does the hummingbird migrate? Hummingbirds fly at speeds up to 71 miles, 80 kilometers, per hour. The longest migratory flight of a hummingbird documented to date is the flight of a rufous hummingbird from Ramsey Canyon, Arizona, to near MT. St. Helens, Washington, a distance of 1,414 miles, 2,277 kilometers. Bird banding studies are now in progress to verify that a few rufous hummingbirds do make a 11,000 to 11,500 mile. 17,699 to 18,503 kilometer. Journey along a super great basin high route, a circuit that could take a year to complete. Hummingbird studies, however, are difficult to complete because so few banded birds are recovered. Are there specific criteria to prompt the National Weather Service to issue an advisory, watch, or warning? Certain advisories, watches, or warnings are issued when specific conditions are met while others will vary by location. Examples of when some common National Weather Service advisories, watches, and warnings issued are, hurricane watch, issued when a hurricane poses a possible threat to specific coastal areas, generally within 36 hours. Hurricane warning, issued when sustained winds of 74 miles per hour, 119 kilometers per hour or higher associated with a hurricane are expected in a specified coastal area in 24 hours or less a hurricane warning may remain in effect even when winds are below hurricane force when dangerously high water and slash or exceptionally high waves continue to persist What is the largest prime number presently known? A prime number is one that is evenly divisible only by itself and 1 the integers 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers. Euclid C335 to 270 BCE proved that there is no largest prime number. Because any attempt to define the largest results in a paradox. If there is a largest prime number, p, adding 1 to the product of all primes up to and including p. 1 1 1 3 2 3 3 3 5 3. 3p, yields a number that is itself a prime number. Because it cannot be divided evenly by any of the known primes. In 2003, Michael Schaefer discovered the largest known, and the 40th, prime number. 2209960110 this is over 6 million digits long and would take more than 3 weeks to write out by hand. In July 2010, double checking proved this was the 40th Mersenet prime. Named after Marin Mersenet, 1588-1648, a French monk who did the first work in this area. Mersenet primes occur where 2n1 is prime. 
there is no apparent pattern to the sequence of primes. Mathematicians have been trying to find a formula since the days of Euclid, without success. The 40th prime was discovered on a personal computer as part of the GIMP's effort. The Great Three Internet Mersenne Prime Search, which was formed in January 1996 to discover new world record size prime numbers. GIMPS relies on the computing efforts of thousands of small, personal computers around the world. Interested participants can become involved in the search for primes by going to http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash default.php What distinguishes gold and silver as elements? Besides their use as precious metals. Gold and silver have properties that distinguish them from other chemical elements. Gold is the most ductile and malleable metal the thinnest gold leaf is 0.0001 mm thick. Silver is the most reflective of all metals, thus, it is used in mirrors. Is the whale shark a mammal or a fish? The whale shark, Rinkadon typhus, is a shark, not a whale. It is, therefore, a fish. This species name merely indicates that it is the largest of all shark species. Weighing 40,000 pounds 18,144 kilograms or more and growing. To lengths of 49 feet 15 meters or more and the largest fish species in the world. However, it is completely harmless to humans. Who invented the barometer? A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. It was invented in 1644 by Evangelista Torricelli, 1608-1647. As a student of Galileo Galilei, 1564-1642, for a short time. Torricelli was inspired by Galileo's observation that piston pumps can only lift water up 33 feet. About 10 meters, after which point it is impossible to pump the water any higher. Torricelli proposed that air had weight, and therefore, exerted pressure. He tested his theory by filling a dish with mercury, a liquid that is 13.6 times denser than water. A liquid that is denser than water allowed him to use a smaller quantity and a glass tube, which was easier to manipulate. He then took a glass tube 4 feet, 1.2 meters, long glass tube that was open on one end, filled it with mercury and turned it upside down with the open end beneath the surface of the mercury in the dish. Some, but not all of the mercury, flowed from the tube into the dish, 30 inches, 760 millimeters, remained. The only force that was able to support the mercury in the tube was the weight of the air exerting pressure on the mercury in the dish. 
The word barometer which means weight measure, from the Greek baros, meaning weight and metron. Meaning meter, was not coined until 1665 by Robert Boyle, 1627 to 1691. Boyle also changed the design for the barometer by using a shaped tube. Thus eliminating the need for a mercury reservoir. The English physicist Robert Hooke, 1635 to 1703. Further improved on the barometer by creating an easy Toriad dial display. When was the Ice Age? Ice ages, or glacial periods, have occurred at irregular intervals for over 2.3 billion years. During an ice age, sheets of ice cover large portions of the continents. The exact reasons for the changes in Earth's climate are not known. Although some think they are caused by changes in Earth's orbit around the Sun. The Great Ice Age occurred during the Pleistocene epoch. Which began about 2 million years ago and lasted until 11,000 years ago. At its height, about 27% of the world's present land area was covered by ice. In North America, the ice covered Canada and moved southward to New Jersey, in the Midwest. It reached as far south as St. Louis. Small glaciers and ice caps also covered the western mountains. Greenland was covered in ice as it is today. In Europe, ice moved down from Scandinavia into Germany and Poland. The British Isles and the Alps also had ice caps. Glaciers also covered the northern plains of Russia. The plateaus of Central Asia, Siberia, and the Kamchatka Peninsula. The glaciers' effect on the United States can still be seen. The drainage of the Ohio River and the position of the Great Lakes were influenced by the glaciers. The rich soil of the Midwest is mostly glacial in origin. Rainfall in areas south of the glaciers formed large lakes in Utah, Nevada, and California. The Great Salt Lake in Utah is a remnant of one of these lakes. The large ice sheets locked up a lot of water. Sea level fell about 450 feet, 137 meters, below what it is today. As a result, some states, such as Florida, were much larger during the Ice Age. The glaciers of the last Ice Age retreated about 11,000 years ago. Some believe that the Ice Age is not over yet. The glaciers follow a cycle of advance and retreat many times. There are still areas of the Earth covered by ice, and this may be a time in between glacial advances. How did the introduction of the potato to Europe lead to a devastating famine in Ireland? The white potato, Selenum tuberosum, native to South America, was first introduced to Spain in the middle of the 16th century. It was not widely accepted as a food crop since European relatives of the potato, such as nightshade, mandrake, and henbane, were known to be poisonous or hallucinogenic. In fact, 
All of the above ground parts of a potato plant are poisonous and only the tuber is edible. The potato was established as a food crop in Ireland as early as 1625 and became a staple of the diet. Especially among the poor, during the 18th and early 19th centuries. The widespread dependence on potatoes as a main source of food led to massive starvation. When the plant pathogen Phytophthora infestans destroyed potato fields in the 1840s. Over one million Irish people died from starvation or subsequent disease. Another 1.5 million emigrated from Ireland. What is the difference between type I and type 2 diabetes? Type I is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, IDDM. And type 2 is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, NIDDM. In type I diabetes there is an absolute deficiency of insulin. It accounts for approximately 10% of all cases of diabetes and has a greater prevalence in children. In type 2 diabetes, insulin secretion may be normal. But the target cells for insulin are less responsive than normal. The incidence of type 2 diabetes increases greatly after age 40 and is normally associated with obesity and lack of exercise as well as genetic predisposition. The symptoms of type 2 diabetes are usually less severe than type I. But long term complications are similar in both types. Is there life on Mars? The answer to this question still remains inconclusive. Data from the Phoenix mission to Mars confirmed the existence of water ice. In 2008, results of the Viking soil sample data have been disputed. Microfossil-like imprints contained in meteorites that originated from Mars may indicate early forms of life. Exploration of Mars continues with the Mars Exploration Rovers. Spirit and Opportunity, the Mars Odyssey Orbiter, and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Do any animals besides people snore? Many animals have been observed snoring occasionally, including dogs, cats, cows, oxen, sheep, buffaloes, elephants, camels, lions, leopards, tigers, gorillas, chimpanzees, horses, mules, zebras, and elands. What is ambergris? Ambergris, a highly odorous, waxy substance found floating in tropical seas, is a secretion from the sperm whale, Visitor Catadon. The whale secretes ambergris to protect its stomach from the sharp bone of the cuttlefish. A squid-like sea mollusk, which it ingests. 
Amber grease is used in perfumery as a fixative to extend the life of a perfume and as a flavoring for food and beverages. Today amber grease is synthesized and used by the perfume trade, which has voluntarily refused to purchase natural amber grease to protect sperm whales from exploitation. Which astronauts have walked on the moon? Twelve astronauts have walked on the moon. Each Apollo flight had a crew of three. One crew member remained in orbit in the command service module. CSM while the other two actually landed on the moon. Apollo 11, July 16 to 24, 1969 Neil A. Armstrong Edwin E. Aldrin Jr. Michael Collins, CSM pilot. Did not walk on the moon, Apollo 12, November 14 to 24, 1969 Charles P. Conrad Allen L. Bean Richard F. Gordon Jr. CSM pilot, did not walk on the moon, Apollo 14, January 31 to February 9, 1971 Alan B. Shepard. Junior Edgar D. Mitchell Stewart A. Rusa, CSM pilot, did not walk on the moon. Apollo 15, July 26 to August 7, 1971 David R. Scott James B. Irwin Alfred M. Worden. CSM pilot, did not walk on the moon. Apollo 16, April 16 to 27, 1972 John W. Young Charles M. Duke Jr. Thomas K. Mattingly, 2, CSM pilot. Did not walk on the moon, Apollo 17, December 7 to 19, 1972 Eugene A. Cernan Harrison H. Schmidt Ronald E. What is electrophoresis? Electrophoresis is a technique used to separate biological molecules, such as nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and amino acids. Based on their movement due to the influence of a direct electric current in a buffered solution. Positively charged molecules move toward the negative electrode. While negatively charged molecules move toward the positive electrode. Why do birds migrate annually? Migratory behavior in birds is inherited, however. Birds will not migrate without certain physiological and environmental stimuli. In the late summer, the decrease in sunlight stimulates the pituitary gland and the adrenal gland of migrating birds, causing them to produce the hormones prolactin and corticosterone respectively. These hormones in turn cause the birds to accumulate large amounts of fat just under the skin. Providing them with enough energy for the long migratory flights. The hormones also cause the birds to become restless just prior to migration. The exact time of departure, however, is dictated not only by the decreasing sunlight and hormonal changes but also by such conditions as the availability of food and the onset of cold weather. The major wintering areas for North American migrating 
Birds are the southern United States and Central America. Migrating ducks follow four major flyways south, the Atlantic Flyway, the Mississippi Flyway, the Central Flyway, and the Pacific Flyway. Some bird experts propose that the birds return north to breed for several reasons. 1. Birds return to nest because there is a huge insect supply for their young. 2. The higher Earth's latitude in the summer in the northern hemisphere. The longer the daylight available to the parents to find food for their young. 3. Less competition exists for food and nesting sites in the north. 4. In the north. There are fewer mammal predators for nesting birds, which are particularly vulnerable during the nesting stage. 5. Birds migrate south to escape the cold weather, and they return north when the weather is more temperate. What are the two types of cells found in the peripheral nervous system? The peripheral nervous system consists of afferent, sensory, neurons and efferent, motor, neurons. The afferent nerve cells, from the Latin, ad, meaning toward, and fair meaning to bring, carry sensory information from the peripheral to the central nervous system. They have their cell bodies in ganglia and send a process into the central nervous system. The efferent nerve cells, from the Latin X, meaning away from, and fair, meaning to bring. Carry information away from the central nervous system to the effectors, muscles and tissues. They have cell bodies in the central nervous system and send axons into the periphery. What is dyslexia and what causes it? Dyslexia covers a wide range of language difficulties. In general, a person with dyslexia cannot grasp the meaning of sequences of letters, words, or symbols, or the concept of direction. The condition can affect people of otherwise normal intelligence. Dyslexic children may reverse letter and word order, make bizarre spelling errors and may not be able to name colors or write from dictation. It may be caused by minor visual defects, emotional disturbance, or failure to train the brain. New evidence shows that a neurological disorder may be the underlying cause. Approximately 90% of dyslexics are male. The term dyslexia, of Greek origin, was first suggested by Professor Rudolf Berlin of Stuttgart, Germany, in 1887. The earliest references to the condition date as far back as 30 CE when Valerius Maximus and Pliny described a man who lost his ability to read after being struck on the head by a stone. What is petrology and what does a petrologist do? Petrology is the science of rocks. A petrologist is a person who studies the mineralogy of rocks and the record of the geological past contained within rocks. From rocks, 
a petrologist can learn about past climates and geography. Past and present composition of the earth, and the conditions that prevail within the interior of the earth. How are the forms of cancer classified? The over 150 different types of cancer are classified into four major groups. Carcinomas 9 in 10 cancers are carcinomas, which involve the skin and skin-like membranes of the internal organs. Sarcomas involve the bones, muscles, cartilage, fat, and linings of the lungs. Abdomen, heart, central nervous system, and blood vessels. Leukemias develop in blood, bone marrow, and the spleen. Lymphomas involve the lymphatic system. Which elements are the noble metals? The noble metals are gold, O, element 79, silver, AG, element 47, mercury, HG, element 80. And the platinum group, which includes platinum, PT, element 78, palladium, PD, element 46, iridium. IR, element 77, rhodium, RH, element 45, ruthenium, RU, element 44, and osmium, OS, element 76. The term refers to those metals highly resistant to chemical reaction or oxidation. Resistant to corrosion, and is contrasted to base metals, which are not so resistant. The term has its origins in ancient alchemy whose goals of transformation and perfection were pursued through the different properties of metals and chemicals. The term is not synonymous with precious metals, although a metal, like platinum, may be both. The platinum group metals have a variety of uses. In the United States more than 95% of all platinum group metals are used for industrial purposes. While platinum is a coveted material for jewelry making. It is also used in the catalytic converters of automobiles to control exhaust emissions, as are rhodium and palladium. Rhodium can also be alloyed with platinum and palladium for use in furnace windings. Thermocouple elements, and in aircraft spark plug electrodes. Osmium is used in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals and in alloys for instrument pivots and long life phonograph needles. What is the fourth state of matter? Plasma, a mixture of free electrons and ions or atomic nuclei, is sometimes referred to as a fourth state of matter. Plasmas occur in thermonuclear reactions as in the sun, in fluorescent lights, and in stars. When the temperature of gas is raised high enough, the collision of atoms becomes so violent that electrons are knocked loose from their nuclei. The result of a gas having loose, negatively charged electrons and heavier, positively charged nuclei is called a plasma. 
All matter is made up of atoms. Animals and plants are organic matter. Minerals and water are inorganic matter. Solid, liquid, and gas are the first three states of matter. Whether matter appears as a solid, liquid, or gas depends on how the molecules are held together in their chemical bonds. Solids have a rigid structure in the atoms of the molecules. In liquids the molecules are close together but not packed, in a gas, the molecules are widely spaced and move around. Occasionally colliding but usually not interacting.